Ready? Yep. 228. And today we are out just below the confluence of the Root River with the Mississippi on Pool 8 down by La Crosse to sample the water and monitor for reproductive populations of invasive carp. We are collecting a, a subsample of the water and we sort through all the vegetation and the seeds and the weeds and try to pick out any uh, larval fish that we see as well as any eggs that we see as well. To date we have not seen any reproduction of invasive carp in Minnesota, Wisconsin shared border waters, uh, but we continually monitor each year to make sure that we don't miss an important event like that. So here in Pool 8, some of the main methods that we use to manage uh, invasive carp are commercial fishing. Uh, we monitor for all life stages. We set other gill nets throughout the year. Electrofishing is another thing that we use to not necessarily catch fish, but to push fish out of areas so that we can catch them. We also have speakers that we use to, to help drive fish out of areas because they're very susceptible to, to boat, boat noises and other sounds. One of our other goals with you know, continuing to tag and continuing removal efforts is to keep the population as low as we possibly can to prevent any attempts at spawning. If you see an invasive carp, please report it. So Fish and Wildlife Service, USGS, Minnesota DNR, or Wisconsin DNR, we all work together down here to, to help mitigate this problem. If you do happen to see a lot of fish jumping in one spot, let us know so we can get nets out, we can get electrofishing boats out to help disrupt that uh, congregation of fish. We are trying to buy time, essentially. You know, there's a lot of great research projects out there at different universities throughout the country, um, and even through our partners at USGS and, and some new ideas at Fish and Wildlife Service even. Um, we don't have a whole lot of funding to go and do specialized projects like that where they don't necessarily have a whole lot of funding to get out in the field and, and you know, keep at this and mitigate the problem as, you know, in the field right now. So we are, we are trying to buy time to you know, let those research projects to take hold and advance our technology to the point where maybe we actually do have a permanent solution for these things.